How's it going everyone? Bruno Sam here. So uh, welcome to another Shad PS4 video. Uh, this is a video about some of the recent changes that happened with uh, the emulator, with one of them being the uh, package installer removal. As you can see here in this statement, it says that the package installer was removed as there is no need to use it for regular game update and DLC dumps. Its only legit use was for homebrew titles and it was causing a lot of confusion among our users who were going out of their way to convert their regular dumps into package files. Now I'm going to be uh, showing you how to get around this and how to still use package files on a Shad PS4 emulator. So uh, this confusion that the post talks about could have been easily uh, avoided by adding a game folders option here to the file which is the same one here in the settings path and here you are able to use your game folders so this option here should have been made to the file option here and then the developers should point out that if you want to use your dumps you simply click on file and then game folders and then you choose the location where you dumped your uh, games so this was uh, an easier uh, kind of like a fix to the confusion that was going around with the users who are dumping their own games But if you are knowledgeable enough to dump your own games from the ps4 and you have some knowledge how that works You would know that a package file is actually different than a game dump and then you have to select the uh, game path in the emulator and then use the game folders option to choose your game dump so uh, as you can see here in the uh, new release of Shad PS4, uh, there is no option for package installation. And the easiest way to get around this is by using uh, an older release of Shad PS4, for example, 0.7.0. Just go ahead and double click on that and go to file, install packages, and then you can select the uh, package file that you want to install and it will be uh, installed. So uh, to do this, uh, the best way to do this is by uh, choosing the uh, same location uh, for both uh, emulator releases. So the games will show up on your new release when you install them. And this is by far, I think, the uh, easiest way to get around this. So you need to install the games to the same location that you specify in the uh, new release path uh, another way to get around this is by using package editor if somehow you cannot use an older release of shad ps4 for any reason you can go to package editor and then you can click on open and then you will have to uh, select the package file that you want to extract and then click on open and now click on export to a gp4 project select the uh, location where you want to uh, extract this uh, file it's best to put it in a new folder and then you can click on save and uh, let the game uh, extract so uh, once the game is extracted successfully you can see uh, a message that says uh, extracted click on ok and now you can go to the uh, emulator the new release and then you can see here there's no option you can click on boot and you can select the game eboot file by navigating to the game so this is kind of like if you want to boot one game you can just do this by going to the eboot bin and uh, the easiest way is actually to go to settings and then go to paths and then click on add and then you add the uh, folder where your game extractions will be click on apply and then hit save and your game will show up in uh, shad ps4 so this is another way to get around this you can also dump your own games from the ps4 by using the homebrew app called ps4 explorer the release 2.03 and then use easy package extractor which is available inside uh, the uh, homebrew app and then you can just dump the game as a package and that's pretty much it you can also use a ps4 dumper uh, like we see here you simply need to uh, add the uh, ip address of your ps4 and uh, you can leave 
the uh, port as 2121 and then go to the uh, PS4 and on the PS4 you need to go to uh, gold hand settings go to the uh, server settings and make sure that you enable the FTP server and after that you just uh, click on connect on the PS4 dumper now you are connected as you can see here on the top connected to PS4 and now you need to uh, select what you want to dump a base game the game update or just a DLC and then you can just launch the game that you want to dump for example this one right here just give it a moment to uh, run and then you can click on the home button now click on download and your game will be dumped to your PC you can also uh, click on build fake package here so now you will have uh, two dumps one is a folder and one is a package so you can install later so uh, this is it the game has been dumped uh, you can also check the files here you can go to ext and you can see the game dump is here and you can navigate through them as you can see there's an eboot bin and this is your entire game dump and that's how you dump your games on the uh, ps4 you can also dump your PS4 games to a USB drive by using the Items Flow Homebrew app. Simply uh, select the game that you want to dump and press X. And then you will see this menu here. Go to uh, Dump and you need to select what you want to dump. Uh, the main game, uh, dump everything or just the patch or DLC. Once you're done, just press X again and the game will start. Then it will minimize. It will be minimized and you will be back to items flow. Now you will see the uh, dump progress and that's it. This is how you uh, dump your game to a USB drive by uh, using the uh, items flow app. Uh, you can also use the uh, website, the Chameleon's uh, host to dump games uh, you can use the uh, package backup payload on the uh, host so you need to run the game first and then you go to the host this one right here as you can see this is chameleon's host and then you need to find the uh, package backup payload which is right here to the left and once you click on that the uh, game will be dumped to the uh, USB drive. So those are some of the uh, easiest ways to dump your own PS4 games to uh, either a USB drive or your own PC and then you can use them with a Shad PS4 emulator. And now we get to the other change which is about the uh, compatibility. So uh, Shad PS4's game compatibility has been uh, changed and replaced to uh, include only uh, over 300 games and the playable games are only 12. So the old compatibility list has been uh, wiped or uh, kept in private and replaced with this new one here which includes only 308 tested games and 12 playable games while if you go here to the label and search for uh, the in-game label you will see that the uh, emulator has uh, only 52 games that go in game but if we take a look at the uh, old uh, compatibility list we can see that games that are actually playable are 312 games 338 go in game 214 uh, reaches menus and uh, 341 games were booting and 1002 games uh, in nothing section so this was uh, the uh, second uh, big change that happened with Shad PS4 and uh, it was regarding the uh, game compatibility. Uh, as you can see here in this comparison between the old one and the new one, 
we can see that the new one has a significantly lower numbers uh, as you can see here playable games is 12 versus 312 and in game is 54 versus 338 and uh, this could be a, a little bit misleading to uh, new users of this emulator when they check the compatibility and they see that playable games uh, are only 12 this could be a bit misleading to those people who don't have access to the uh, old compatibility list. So uh, this was kind of uh, everything about this video. Take care. Uh, see you soon should anything else comes up. See ya.